Uh, all right, example four, five, number two um, in relative motion, uh, talking about vectors. This one is, uh, it's easy, it's, well, it's easier in that we already have kind of our subscripts laid out for us. Um, honestly, you can pick whatever subscripts you want. We've got a boat, we've got the ground, we've got water. Um, you can call them whatever you want, but this has already been spelled out for us. What's a little more difficult is that we don't exactly have a perfect right triangle right here. So we're going to have to do this in some parts. Okay, so let's spell out, or let's lay out what um, our, uh, our various vectors are. Okay, we've got a boat moving through water. Okay, and so our, the velocity of our boat with respect to the water is going to be 6.1 meters per second. But it's also pointed at a certain angle. All right. At what angle is that? That's 25 degrees upstream. All right. Well, if that's upstream right there, and we have our x and y axis, why don't we just call it upstream north? And we can say it's 25 degrees north of east. All right. That's that direction right there. But we also have the stream moving. So the water is moving through the stream, and the stream is moving how or with respect to what? Well, water moves over the ground, right? And so the water, the velocity of the water, oops, sorry, uh, the velocity of the water with respect to the ground is what? Well, it's flowing this way, right? It's flowing due south. So that is, um, what direction is, where does it say how fast the water is? Oh, okay, uh, 1.4. 1.4 meters per second. Okay, so the water is flowing this way, 1.4 meters per second, and the direction is very important. So if this direction was north, then this direction has to be south. So it's, a, it's moving at, you might say, 90 degrees um, south of east or south of west or just south, okay, straight down right there. These are our two working um, vectors. Now, the real question is, are we able to find out the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground? What's the velocity? It says your velocity, but you mean you and the boat. Velocity of the boat with respect to the ground. Can we find that? Well, the first question to ask is, do we have our subscripts in the right order? Remember, velocity of 1 to 2 plus the velocity of 2 to 3 equals velocity of 1 to 3. Can we just add these up and get this one right here? Velocity of the boat to the water plus the velocity of the water to the ground. That looks pretty good, right? 1 to 2 and 2 to 3. They should be in the right order so that we can get the velocity of the boat to the ground. So for part A right here, we're just finding your velocity with respect to the ground. And it's also going, that's this right here, all right? Because you're pointing upstream, but the water is moving you downstream, so you're going to go downstream a little further at some angle. That's for us to find out in part A of this problem, all right? So um, let's see right here. I'm going to move to a, another slide where it's more blank, 6.1 and 1.4. Okay, I'll have to remember that because I don't want to keep flipping back and forth. Um, all right, next slide. So let's, uh, all right, so we have um, the velocity of the boat to the water is 6.1 meters per second at 25 degrees north of east. So we're going to want to break that into parts in just a minute. The velocity of the water to the ground equals 1.4 meters per second at 90 degrees due south. And we want to find the velocity of the boat to the ground. Okay, this is part A right here in our example problem. Okay, so we determined that we can add this right to that and get that. But the thing is we need to start adding them up. So for this one, we're gonna set up a we're gonna set up a table, a vector table, vector magnitude, direction, the x component, and the y component right here. So we can add 
them all up because we want to add the velocity of the boat to the water to the velocity of the water to the ground to get ourselves the velocity of the boat to the ground. All right, just like we've, we've done before in previous parts of this chapter, but we're now we're actually concerned with exactly what is moving over what. So uh, the boat to the water is 6.1 meters per second at 25 degrees north of east. Okay, we'll find out the x and the y in just a minute. The velocity of the water to, to the ground is 1.4 meters per second at what direction? 90 degrees due south, right? All right, now let's find the x and the y component of this. To get the x, you need know, to take the magnitude times the cosine of the angle. So 6.1 cosine 25. I get 5.5 meters per second in the x direction. And for the y, it's 6.1 sine of the angle. That's 2.5 meters. Uh, we'll say 2.6, round that up. I get 2.57, so it's... 2.6 meters per second in the y direction. Okay, it's a positive x and a positive y, so they both stay as is. All right, velocity of the water to the ground. Well, if you can, uh, if you want to do it, you can do 1.4 times a cosine of 90 degrees, but that'll give you zero, zero meters per second. And if you look at it, it's not moving in the x direction at all. It's all moving in the y direction. And if you really want to, you could punch in 1.4 times the sine of 90 degrees. Um, and that would give you 1.4 because uh, the sine of 90 degrees is 1. But what's important is to note that this is going in the negative direction right here. So we've got to put a minus sign in front of it. All right. Now let's just add up our x and y components of our vectors. Our, um, um, so the x's. That's easy, that adds up to 5.5 meters per second, right there. Our y is 2.6 minus 1.4, that gives me 1.2 meters per second, I think uh, last I checked. So, this boat is moving through um, with respect to the ground at 5.5 meters per second in the x direction and 1.2 meters per second in the y direction. Why is that less than it previously was? Well, because the, the, the motion of the water is acting against it right there. So let's just find what the magnitude is. Again, to find the magnitude of the velocity with the boat to the ground, we take the square root of 5.5 squared plus, two, or, or sorry, 1.2 squared, and I kind of bugged that up a little bit, 1.2 squared, and that'll give us, oops, 5.5 squared plus 1.2 squared to the 1 half power, 5.6 meters per second. Okay? That's our magnitude. What's our direction? Our direction theta. Well, we we'll take the inverse tangent of the y over the x. That's 1.2 over 5.5. All right, inverse tangent of 1.2 divided by 5.5, 12.3 degrees. I'm just going to round that down. Let's, let's just round degrees to the nearest whole degree because I don't want to deal with partial degrees here. 12 degrees, what direction? Well, it's a positive x and a positive y, so it's going to be north of east right here. So our final answer, so the velocity of the boat to the ground is going to be 5.6 meters per second at 12 degrees. Not as much of an angle as it previously was, right? It was trying to shoot 25 degrees upstream, but the, the, the water is carrying it down, so it's only going now 12 degrees upstream with respect to the ground. 5.6 meters per second at 12 degrees north of east. That is our answer for part A. We're trying to find the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground. All right, I'll look for you in part B um, in the next video because I don't want any of these to get too terribly long. So um, I'll see you for part B in the next one.